Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and a ton of leaked information found in the Black Ops 4 game files has been made public. I honestly just want to dive straight into this here because there is just so, so much to talk about. So keeping the introduction short, firstly, Game UK, which is a UK retail store, kind of like the British version of GameStop over in America, posted an ad on their website for the specialist edition of Black Ops 4 and it contains a Black Ops sticker, 1,100 Call of Duty points, an in-game calling card, an emblem, a bonus specialist outfit, and a gesture. I have all the contents on screen for you guys, like the little ad and, and everything else. But the main thing I want you to focus on is the gesture, because I'm not sure if that means you're going to be able to use a gesture whenever you are in the game. Kind of like how you can in Overwatch or Fortnite, or maybe this gesture is only for the blackout mode, or or maybe it's only for multiplayer or maybe does that mean the winner circle is going to return honestly I have no idea I have no clue but regardless I think it's pretty safe to say that gestures and specialist outfits are gonna be a thing that players are gonna be able to unlock whether it's through supply drops or maybe via some other method but still not like there was much of a surprise in this regard now guys yesterday over on reddit and YouTube a list of leaked content regarding pretty much everything was uploaded and posted um, originally the leaks came from a YouTube channel known as the Wu Lads and they talk about pretty much everything from multiplayer, zombies, blackout and specialist missions which are going to kind of be that filler for the lack of campaign but honestly I do not mind this at all in fact I think it's a really nice little change up because it does dive into the lore of the specialist characters and yeah I think it's pretty cool. Now just a little summary of the missions so far they were posted in this reddit thread I'm going to read them off to you guys really quick here and they're also going to be down below in the description but again these are just a few but every single specialist character is going to have one of these missions so starting off with ruin here it says uh, ruin's mission is a grapple range to move around although this was to be expected anyways his missions is set up against him he defies authority the mission features battery he also has an overarching love interest partner story with a new character next up here for firebreak it says firebreak's cutscene is the same as what he described in his bo3 transmission trying to kill his father and uh, for recon here it says recon's mission which is run by battery turns out to be a setup by the specialist organization in this mission recon has to make a hard choice something along the lines of killing a child he makes this sacrifice and is recruited by the organization next up for crash it says crash's mission is about him owing someone money and coming up with a solution to that debt for seraph it says seraph cutscene showcases the event she spoke about in her bo3 transmission labeled 7.1 elevation where she shared how she gained her cybernetic arm and annihilator from Go Shang by cutting her arm off. Keep in mind that these are just a few of the missions that were found in the files. Again, there are going to be missions for every single specialist character and I cannot wait to play them because I absolutely love the lore behind these characters and I think they're going to be very popular and well received by the COD community. They also stated there are going to be character models for Reaper and Spectre from Black Ops 3 and yeah, hopefully Hopefully that means there's going to be even more characters that we still don't even know yet. But now moving on to uh, this here, there was also a Halloween event and a Day of the Dead event found in the files and this includes a Halloween themed supply drop. So I guess that right there pretty much shows there are going to be supply drops, there, they are going to be coming back. But still keep in mind that this could very well change up if Activision and Treyarch decides to follow down a different path. The Call of Duty community does not really take too kindly to supply drops, but still I I am almost certain that they are going to be in uh, Black Ops 4. I'm pretty sure they are going to be the main uh, form of microtransaction in this game. Now guys, a few weeks ago, an image for the Digital Deluxe Edition was leaked out. And if you take a look at the ad, one of the items you get is called Specialist Outfits. And upon closer look, you can kind of tell they resemble the design and theme for the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead. I'm going to show a side-by-side -side comparison of the artwork and the Calavera skulls. And and uh, compared to the characters, they do look very, very similar. So maybe this leak about a holiday or a day of the dead event has some truth to it. Also, of course, Black Ops 4 does come out a few weeks before these actual holidays. And yeah, that is some pretty solid evidence right there. I'm, I'm a huge fan uh, of ha Halloween and Day of the Dead. Uh, I do celebrate them over here where I'm from. In general, I do hope that they are going to do some event for Halloween. But lastly here, the final piece of information I'd like
like to discuss with you guys is a few details on Blackout. Basically, this is just kind of the standard for all Battle Royale games. There are going to be doors that can be open and closed, whatever. There are going to be scavengeable items like in Heist, apparently. And you also do, in fact, fly down onto the map with a wingsuit and then you glide with a parachute. Um, Cracked and Array from Black Ops 1 are going to be remastered into Blackout. Um, and they also say here, while it's aimed to have zombies present in some areas such as Verruckt, this may not make it into the Blackout beta. So, uh, zombies are going to be in Blackout. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they are going to be um, maybe in the storm or maybe only in the areas that are the remastered zombies uh, maps like Verruckt, for example. We'll see what happens, but honestly, guys, Blackout sounds absolutely amazing. Like, I really do feel there's a lot of potential with this game mode. Like, everything from the Call of Duty Black Ops series is in this one mode. It's in this one Battle Royale mode. There's so much potential here. And yeah, I just really hope that Treyarch does follow through with Blackout. Um, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with Blackout. I'm going to have a video tomorrow talking about something that Treyarch should do and Activision should do in order to, you know, make Blackout take that next step and pretty much they could possibly kill PUBG and Fortnite. They could overtake the Battle Royale industry if they do this one thing, but I'm going to have a commentary about that later uh, tomorrow more than likely, so uh, make sure you subscribe and click the notification button to be updated when I upload that video. And yeah, guys, these are the leaks that were posted over on Reddit and YouTube. Again, uh, shout out goes to the Woo Lad for finding all this stuff. A link to their channels and Twitter is going to be down below in the description. Tell me your thoughts about all this leaked information down below in the comments guys and uh, also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching i love you guys so so much thank you for your support it does mean a whole lot to me and until next time i'll see you later